For years, I was incredibly confused as to what it meant to be a woman. As a kid, I struggled with even wanting to be a little girl. It was so easy to feel different because I didn't fit the mold of what I thought a little girl should be. When my sisters were asking for Barbies and nail polish for Christmas, I was asking for Nerf guns and Hot Wheels. When they wanted to go shopping and buy dresses, I wanted to chop my hair off and wear soccer shorts. In Girl Scouts, when we were learning how to set the table, I cared more about learning how to ollie on a skateboard. Growing up, there weren't many girls who were the heroes. So I looked to superheroes and my favorite male athletes, the adventures of Harry Potter for inspiration. I was really confused because I identified more with being a boy. I wanted to do what they did. I wanted to act how they acted. In my world, it seemed like there was a very specific way to be a woman and I didn't fit that. As I got older, I started to realize that I didn't feel like a little girl because I didn't fit stereotypes. I think oftentimes we can reduce femininity to wearing pink or cooking and cleaning and loving to craft. As the years went on, varying types of female characters started to emerge in popular culture. And so I realized that there were other girls like me. And when it came to the church, I saw powerhouse women like Joan of Arc leading her nation to victory, Blessed Chiara Luce with her joyful iron will, and St. Teresa of Calcutta fighting every day for the poor and marginalized. These women were confident in their femininity because they know who they were and whose they were. Beloved women and daughters of God. Seeing these women helped me realize that I was trying to fit my femininity into a box. I quickly noticed that that's what was actually keeping me from feeling like a woman. No matter how out of place I felt with female stereotypes, it didn't mean that I needed to be a boy. I became more and more comfortable with being a woman because I was able to see that there's different ways that femininity can be expressed. Do I still love playing soccer, going camping, or riding my longboard around the neighborhood? Yep. Have I started to like dressing up and knitting scarves for my family? You betcha. <laughs> but does any of this measure how much of a woman I am? No, it doesn't. You are feminine simply by being a woman. <laughs> you are still just as feminine wearing basketball shorts and a t-shirt as you are wearing high heels and a dress. Whether you're in choir, mock trial, or auto club, still feminine. Belle or Moana, still feminine. <laughs> Your femininity cannot be reduced to what clothes you wear, what job you have, what activities you're a part of. Your femininity comes from being made woman in the image and likeness of God. That's the beauty of our faith and the diversity of the human person. In the words of St. John Paul II, the human person is unique and unrepeatable. And so you, you as a woman, you as a daughter of God are unique and unrepeatable. And so your femininity is too.